Alright, this video I want to share an um, article that I read that I think a lot of people can learn something about it. Um, it's about Kim Kardashian robbery. And this article is about Kourtney Kardashian. It says, Kourtney Kardashian, who is her sister, posts a cryptic message following Kim Kardashian robbery. I just want to read that message. I think it's a, it's a good one. It says, along with the prayer hands emoji, Kardashian shared a picture from a devotional book. Remember that joy is not dependent on your circumstances. Some of the world's most miserable people are those whose circumstances seem the most enviable. People who reach the top of the ladder career-wise are often surprised to find emptiness awaiting them. True joy is a byproduct of living in my presence. Therefore, you can experience it in places. You can experience it in palaces, in prisons, anywhere, it reads. The page also contains a passage from the Habakkuk, one of the prophets in the Hebrew Bible, as well as a line from the book of Chronicles. So, I think this is a huge time for learning, not just for that family, but just for their followers, for the public in general, like just learning from what happened. You know, this message, sometimes people need something drastic to happen in order for them to realize like what is truly important in this life and, you know, you know, make smarter decisions in what you do. You know, I already knew about this. I just know. You know, you see people famous like Tupac and at the height of at the height of his fame, you know, everything just gets taken away from him. Everything. You know, here you got this person that's so talented in what he does and then he just his life just gets taken away so quickly. Over what? Over, you know, jealousy, hatred, you know, envy, competition, you know, and that's what happens on the streets, you know, and when people live in a bubble, sometimes they forget about reality. You know, but this quote is pretty much teaching people, and even Osho mentions it, is that you could be so ambitious, you keep striving after fame and money, which is an endless strive. You can always have more money, you can always have more fame. And she already has so much fame, but then she's still striving for more by posting all these photos and, you know, just trying to, to get even more attention when she already has so much. And once you finally, you're climbing up that ladder and then when you're finally at the top, you see that there's nothing there, that all of it was pointless. Osho mentions that a lot too in his teachings. And then the people that know that it's pointless, they're too embarrassed to come back down, down the ladder and let everybody else know that there's nothing up there. So then they, they put on this facade that, that there's actually total bliss up there when there isn't. There's nothing there. You know, and this is what the teaching is saying, you know. Remember that joy is not dependent on your circumstances. Some of the world's most miserable people are those whose circumstances seem the most enviable. People who reach the top of the ladder career-wise are often surprised to find emptiness awaiting them. Emptiness is awaiting them. And you have to face that emptiness eventually. You either face it right away without climbing the ladder or you face it midway towards the top of the ladder or you face it at the end of the ladder. No matter what, you're going to have to face emptiness. And emptiness is like facing death. Like death is staring you right in the eyes. You can't ignore it any longer. It's right here. And the quicker that you face it, the more you are going to come towards 
real happiness, real bliss. Because you've accepted death. You know, you're, you're not trying to live your life pretending as if death does not exist. And for some people, like Kardashian, she needed something completely drastic like this to happen in order for her to face death immediately. But somebody like Tupac was seeing death all the time as he was growing up. He's seeing his family die, his friends die. You know, everybody's dying around him. And then he gets shot five times, he almost dies. Death was just constantly a part of his life, so he was facing it over and over again. So he knew that the time was coming. He knew that all of this means nothing. You know, striving after all this fame, all this money. When you go, when you, when it com comes time to death, it's all gonna disappear. So that that is one of the foundational aspects of spiritual growth is like facing death honestly and then actually growing to go beyond it not ignoring it you know so you know it's saying Quote is saying, a lot of the people that you think are happy are actually very miserable. So, you're striving after what they have, not knowing that even, at, even if you, you happen to get what they have, you're going to end up being miserable too. In order to free yourself from misery, it happens right now at this moment. You know, so this quote is also saying, true joy is a byproduct of living in my presence. True joy is a byproduct of living in my presence. It's basically saying, true joy is being aware, presently aware. It's being in meditation. Buddha came about the same conclusion through his search. Buddha was the richest. Buddha was the prince. Buddha had everything. But he gave it all up to seek towards truth. To seek towards something eternal. Something that's endless. And that's meditation. And that's what Buddha was teaching. That's what Osho teaches. That's what Eastern philosophy is all about. Is teaching you to be in this moment. To find that true joy. To not be in misery. And sometimes for some people like Kardashian, it takes this sort of dramatic experience to wake up. But for others, it doesn't have to be so dramatic. So for others, it could come very natural. You know, so therefore you can experience it in palaces, in prisons, anywhere. You can experience meditation no matter where you're at. When you are presently aware, you can bring that moment of joy to whatever situation you're in. Basically this quote saying it's not all about the money, it's not all about, all about the fame, it's about that inner peace, that, that happiness within. And that could happen at any moment. That's what's important. You know, when that gun is pointed towards her head, and she doesn't know if she's going to die at that moment, do you think it matters? The $11 million of jewelry, you think that matters? You think the way she looks, how beautiful her face is or her body is, you think that matters? You think it matters how many... Instagram followers she has at that moment. You think it matters how, how many mansions she owns. You think it matters who she married, who she's married to. Nothing matters at that moment. That's that, that one pull of the trigger 
just ends everything right there. And that's the moment. of potential awakening to realize that everything that you thought was important is not really that important. What's really important? Maybe your health, your safety, your happiness, your peace. But when you're stuck in all that, that web of competitiveness towards striving after more fame, more money, you're going to have a lot of certain negative energy heading towards you to, tr to try to destroy your peace, your happiness. So, you know, this can be a critical moment for the mass of the public to learn about what it really, what it truly means to be happy. You know, it could take you the rest of your life to chase after the amount of fame and money that she has. And you could chase your whole life and you may never even get close to her status. But if you come to a realization, an immediate realization, that at the top of that ladder there's nothing there, it's empty, then there's no need to strive anymore. And then when you give up striving, you can finally allow yourself to be in peace and to be happy. And this is what the teachings of Buddha help you with. This is the teachings of meditation. This is what I specialize in. This is what, this is my bread and butter. And it's the wise people that that see the truth early on and they don't necessarily have to go through such dramatic experiences to become awake. So that's what I wanted to share today.